All right, we're on hole number seven in the Christmas Links Tournament in the Ricky opening round. We have had a tough front nine. We are down two shots from where we should be. Uh, we blew the eagle shot on one, multiple reasons. And we timed, <laughs> and we timed out on uh, par three on, that's, uh, that's bad. <laughs> so we are on seven the next par three. So what we've been doing is <clears throat> we know from our practice rounds that if we use a Saturn and we use a Katana, our red line's about right there. So we're at the max club, so we've got a pretty, pretty good wind adjustment. So we don't have to try and figure out where we're at in the club. It's a pretty straight up 1.9 per ring. And what we've been doing is we've been applying maximum backspin, maximum right hand side spin, and making sure that we get all of the the side spin in. <clears throat> and then applying maximum curl when we take the shot. And if we hit it perfect, you know, we've been kind of where we're we're off the green right here in this corner. And then we're trying to bring it around like this to the hole. And we've been long over here, and then it dribbles back to the hole. But it really hasn't been a shot. I mean, it's going so slow. There's no, it's close, but it's not really been a shot. So what we did, what we've been working on is we can't really adjust the side spin, the back spin, the curl. We can't really, we don't have any adjustments. That we're already maxed out in order to, to land on this side and then bring the ball back to the hole. You know, we're already maxed out in those things. So... We've been landing out here and then coming far, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to move the ball out, our original landing area out, so that we can continue to move the ball forward and get close to the hole. So on this rough, the transition between the fairway and the rough, right along here, we had our blue, excuse me, our orange ring was right on the rough. And our orange ring was also right here at the transition between the fairway and the fringe. So this fringe transition and this rough transition, we had our blue, our orange ring wedged into that spot. And we actually got pretty close. We were a little far and we were a little high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this, this far adjustment first. We wanna get to the point where we're pin high. Once we get to the point where we're pin high, then we'll worry about trying to dial this. And we, won't, we don't want to dial in two things at, one, at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay on the orange ring. So on this transition here, we're going to stay on the orange ring. And then we're going to move the rings out this direction. And we're going to be halfway into the clear ring and see if we can bring the ball towards the hole. So that's how we're going to set it up. So the setup on this will be really quick. You know, when we get out there, we're going to put our orange ring on the rough. We're going to set up the ball real quick because where everything's maxed out. And then it just boils down to hitting the ball perfect. So that's the shot we're going to try and take on there. So let's make sure we got our Saturn. It should be in both our bags. You notice that this, this particular tournament, your long iron and your short iron really haven't come into play. Some tournaments, like the last tournament, your short iron was the go-to club. I mean, a ton of holes you were using your short iron. This course is all about your, your big clubs. And so it's about your driver and your wood. The other clubs are not really coming into play a lot. A couple of the, this par three right here, we're using a long iron. And the other ones we're using a wood. And we're going to take a navigate, or excuse me, we're going to take a katana. So we got our bag set up. Hole number seven. All right, we're trying to dial it in so we can get, uh, we can actually feel like when we come to these par threes, we're shooting for hole in one. You know, if we hit the shot perfect, we're shooting for hole in one. What we've been doing is hey, we go to these par threes and we're shooting and we know we're going to get a birdie. Okay, so we're gonna bring our, we're gonna write it our max Saturn. So we're gonna put our orange ring on that transition and we're gonna put half the clear ring. And we're gonna use max backspin. 
as much curl as we can get in. There's 3.8, so we're just a little over that. And then we're going to apply maximum curl, and we're going to try and hit it perfect. And we hit it great on the inside. And we barely cleared that. But we were really on track. So if we'd have hit, I don't like how, I don't like where that ball hit at all. So I'll have to go back and look and see. That was probably all in wind adjustment. Let's make a note here. It's a one nine per ring. So that means that a third of a ring is six. So whatever, we'll have to go back and watch the video and see what we did in that adjustment to get it to hop on that rough down there because that's, that's one of the reasons why we're shooting on that side is to avoid any kind of problem like that. Like that. You know, that very easily could have ended up in the sand and man, you now he's still got a great shot from there, but if it had been in the sand, that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to avoid that. So I got to go back and watch that video and see where I messed up or what happened in that. Because even the great shot there, we were two rings off the fringe or off the rough transition and something went, uh, something went sideways. See if our opponent can bring it back. A lot of people like in bringers. I don't like the fact that he's got his ball pushed up against the nubs on the left hand side. That means the ball is going to want to go in that direction. So he hit it perfect. And he was on that side of the hole. When you pull your ball back, you want to try and be right dead center, not against those nubs. If you're up against those nubs, those you know you can go out there and shoot some shots when you're when you're just practicing, and especially when you're practicing stuff where you're working on your wind, your wind rings, and go out there and see how much of a difference pushing on those nubs makes as far as where the ball ends up. Zachary Jones has some really good video, especially as you're going up. If you're looking at uh, the wind ring method when you're going up, like knowing like if you're doing a half power shot, you're not using max overpower, you're only using half of it. Like how far does that get you? And so learning your, you know, knowing the rings, you can help yourself out too because when you're doing overpower shots, you know how much farther the ball is going to be going. All right, that was uh, hole number seven of the opening round in the rookie division of the Christmas Links Tournament. Thanks for watching.